All right, what I want to show you guys is how to simplify roots with imaginary numbers and simplify complex numbers, which I do over here. Um, but here over here, we have a root. And if you guys, this is a negative 52 though, right? No problem? No? It's not? OK. Well, if it, if it wasn't negative, we'd factor out that negative. Um, but when trying to solve a problem like this, what I need to do is you guys remember, we can take the, the numbers you can take the square root of, like the square root of 4, we know is 2. The square root of 9, we know is 3. So to get numbers out of the square root, we have to find our square numbers, which are <coughs> square root of 16, square root of 25, square root of 36. And these numbers under, under the radical, our radical are what we call square numbers. The reason why is because um, they're the, you can square they're, uh, the square root of each one of these numbers. Okay, so what my goal is when I'm trying to simplify a number or even um, variables with exponents, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to square numbers. So what I need to do is I need to look at is there any square number that goes into 52? And what I determine is yes, there is. My square number that goes into 52 is going to be 4 times 13. So what I'm doing is I'm just rewriting rewriting um, what's in the root. So rather than writing 52, I'm going to rewrite it as 4 times 13. Now the same thing can be shown for um, same thing can be shown for uh, my exponents. Rather than writing x to the third power, I can write that as x squared times x to the first power. Because I know when I multiply exponents um, with different uh, powers, you're actually adding the adding the exponents together. And my y to the fourth can be represented as um, y to the fourth times y to the first power. Correct? So all I did was I just rewrote the problem. I have not changed anything mathematically. All I did was rewrote it. If I was to multiply these back again, 4 times 3 is 52. x squared times x to the first is x to the third y to the fourth times y to the first is y to the fifth. Mathematically, I've not changed anything. But why did you separate the y from the x? Why did I? Yeah. I'm going to show you why I did it. But do you understand how it happened like that? It's OK. I haven't changed anything yet. Yeah. This, these are still equal to each other. Yeah. Okay. Now, the reason why I did that, because since now I have square numbers. And when you have square numbers, you can take the square root of them. So the square root of 4 is 2. I can't take the square root of 13. Um, I can factor out the square root of 2. I can't go ahead and take that out. Um, oh, yeah. The square root of x squared is, is going to become x. I can't take the square root of x to the first. The square root of y to the fourth, so the square root of 4 is going to become two. y squared. And I can't take the square root of it. So when simplifying, I put them into square numbers. The reason why I did that is because now I can take the square root of each number. So this would be my final simplified version. And I can't do anything else inside of my, under my root because that's simplified as it gets. Okay? Now, when given a complex numbers, um, you guys got to remember complex numbers come in the form a plus bi. Okay? And that's my imaginary. And that's my real. So we always like to write our complex numbers in our real and our imaginary numbers. So I have my real, I have my imaginary. I have my real, I have my imaginary. So when adding or subtracting, you want to add the real and add the imaginary. Right? Okay, so just go ahead and simply, I'm just going to rewrite it so it's a little bit easier for you to follow. Negative 15 plus 15 and 48i, or negative 12 plus 15 and 48i plus 21i. Therefore, this now becomes 3 plus 69i. So that is my final solution. Okay. okay. Same exact thing as yep. Same thing. Just do your real and do your imaginary. Yes. 
Not right now, but I will go ahead and do that after this video. Um, next thing, guys, when you're doing a problem like this, when you have two binomials, I've showed you guys multiple ways. There's FOIL. Um, another just very simple way is you can also do like the box method. You know, FOIL first, outside it, inner, last. Here you can just do 1 plus 2i, 1 minus 2i. 1 times 1 is 1, 2i, negative 2i. And this now becomes a negative 4i squared. Well, I know that when you add all these up, you're going to have 1 plus 2i plus a negative 2i minus 4i squared. Well, obviously, these are going to cancel each other out. i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times a negative 4 is positive 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5. That's what I put. You said it was wrong. I know. So, but why? So that is how you simplify roots with uh, imaginary numbers and how to simplify complex numbers.